China just revealed a massive sea-skimming aircraft that looks like it came straight out of science fiction. Nicknamed the Bohai Sea Monster, this newly spotted jet-powered Akranaplan defies traditional design, flying just above the ocean's surface at high speed, with no runway needed. It's the boldest revival of Soviet-style ground-effect vehicles in decades. But this isn't just about looks, it could quietly reshape how fast, stealthy logistics and offshore operations are done. So, what exactly is it, and why now? Let's find out. The newly surfaced Chinese Akrana plan, unofficially dubbed the Bohai Sea Monster, has stirred attention not only for its size but also for its unconventional engineering. Captured in photos docked along the Bohai Sea coast, this wing and ground effect aircraft is unlike anything currently in use. Built to fly mere meters above the sea surface by harnessing the ground effect, its entire form reflects a commitment to low altitude, high speed over water travel. What immediately stands out is its flying boat style hull, clearly designed for direct water operations. The nose is sleek and aerodynamically blended, likely to reduce drag while maximizing lift. Unlike conventional aircraft, this one has a joined V tail configuration, a structure more commonly found on older Soviet Ekrana planes like the Lewin class, rather than modern fixed wing jets. Mounted atop the short wings are four large engine nacelles, which may house either jet turbines or possibly a hybrid electric propulsion system. Although some observers initially believed they were purely jet-powered, closer inspection of available images suggests a hybrid possibility. The flattened exhaust points slightly downward, consistent with boosting airflow under the wing to enhance lift, a key trait of ground-effect vehicles. Interestingly, the nacelles also appear to feature upper inlets a rare configuration that could support dual airflow for variable performance. Also visible are outrigger sponsons on each wingtip and smaller ones along the fuselage midsection. These aid in water stability during taxiing, takeoff, and landing, helping to prevent roll or lateral slippage on waves. The stepped hull visible beneath the aircraft ensures hydrodynamic lift during waterborne takeoff, another clear sign that it is fully amphibious. The aircraft sports a low-visibility gray paint scheme, common among platforms intended for maritime patrol or logistical support near sensitive areas. A visible side cargo door hints at multi-role capability, likely allowing it to carry personnel, vehicles, or supplies. Its compact wingspan and aerodynamic body suggest it prioritizes overwater performance over the high-altitude range. Understanding why China is developing such a platform starts with geography and logistics. The nation's extensive coastline, combined with numerous island chains and offshore installations, especially in the South and East China Seas, creates a logistical environment where speed, flexibility, and low radar visibility are crucial. That's where the Akrana plan fits in. Traditional transport methods, ships, helicopters, or fixed-wing aircraft, each have their limits. Ships are slow and visible. Helicopters have short ranges and limited payloads. Fixed-wing planes often need airstrips or prepared surfaces. In contrast, a wing and ground effect vehicle can operate from open water, skim just above the sea at high speeds, and deliver cargo or personnel directly to remote islands without needing a runway or port. The Bohai Sea Monster appears designed precisely for this niche. By flying below radar horizons and outside the threat zones that may affect conventional vessels, it could be used for logistical resupply, search and rescue, offshore recovery missions, or island garrison support. If confirmed operational, it could deliver essential equipment, medics, or aid to isolated outposts faster and with less risk than existing alternatives. Its operational range remains unclear, but if it matches or surpasses the AG-600's range, it could easily serve most of China's offshore zones. That includes not only island chains under Chinese administration but also vast areas of open water that are crucial for maritime commerce and national security. A key comparison here is the U.S. Liberty Lifter, a DARPA-backed ground-effect transport vehicle designed for large-scale resupply across Pacific distances. That project aims to solve challenges tied to the tyranny of distance, where traditional aircraft struggle to move heavy cargo over water without support bases. Unlike amphibious aircraft that must climb into higher altitudes and remain within radar view, this Akrana plan operates at the intersection of stealth and speed. It flies under radar sweeps while outpacing surface ships, 
offering tactical agility in contested or cluttered zones. And because it operates from water, it avoids the need for costly airfield construction or vulnerable logistics hubs on land. With only a few images released so far, there's still debate over whether this new Akrana plan is a full-scale production model, a prototype, or simply a concept demonstrator. But even as speculation continues, what we know paints a picture of serious ambition and long-term planning. There are several signs suggesting it's beyond a static prototype. The aircraft has functional engine mounts, control surfaces, a full-sized fuselage, and other flight-ready details like aerodynamic fairings and waterline structuring. The presence of a large side hatch and cargo hold access also implies real mission functionality, unlikely additions for a mere display model. Moreover, the photos show it stationed at a pier, not in a workshop, hinting that sea trials may already be underway. Still, this could be an early production prototype, possibly one of several being evaluated. China has used this strategy before quietly developing and testing aerospace projects before officially unveiling them. Whether this Akrana plan becomes operational depends on several factors, durability over long distances, ability to operate in varied sea conditions, ease of maintenance, and integration with China's naval and air forces. There's also the possibility that this is an optionally piloted or fully unmanned system. China has been accelerating its development of AI-assisted cargo drones and optionally manned transport platforms. A semi-autonomous Akrana plan could reduce risk to the crew, operate continuously in bad weather, and serve as a mobile extension of China's broader maritime strategy. Whether used for resupply, surveillance, or recovery, a drone version of this aircraft could dramatically expand its utility. Another factor to consider is its role in technology validation. Even if this model never enters mass production, it could be testing components for larger or more specialized future variants. Its hull design, power systems, and control technologies may inform follow-on versions with greater payload, range, or stealth capabilities. Already, analysts are comparing it to the Liberty Lifter project. The China's prototype appears more compact and potentially more agile. China seems to be aiming at regional reach with high responsiveness. China's new Akrana plan isn't just an experimental aircraft. It's a bold move into a unique space between sea and sky. With its low-altitude flight, amphibious design, and stealthy profile, it could change how rapid logistics and offshore operations are handled. Whether this Bohai Sea monster becomes a fleet asset or remains a high-tech testbed, it signals China's readiness to explore unconventional solutions for maritime mobility. In a world where adaptability matters, this craft proves innovation can come from unexpected directions, flying just above the surface where few others operate. Its future may be uncertain, but its message is loud and clear. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.